cold working comma war, warm working hot working these processes we will see now in the pro subject manufacturing process and the subject is cold working warm working and hot working cold working process generally done at the room temperature or slightly above room temperature advantages compared to hot forming closer tolerances can be achieved good surface finish can be achieved because of strain hardening higher strength and hardness is seen in the part grain flow during deformation provides the opportunity for desirable directional properties since no heating is done of the work is involved furnace fuel electricity cost and minimized machining requirements are minimum resulting in possibility of near net shape forming advantages higher forces and power are required strain hardening of the work metal limit the amount of forming that can be done sometimes cold forming annealing cold working annealing cold forming cycle should be followed the work piece is not ductile enough to be cold worked to be cold work warm working in this case forming is performed by at temperatures just above room temperature but below the crystallization temperature the working temperature is taken to be 0.3 tm where tm is the melting point of the work piece advantages enhanced plastic deformation properties second lower forces required intricate work geometry is possible annealing stages can be reduced hot working process involves deformation above the crystallization temperature between 0.5 tm to 0.75 tm advantages the significant plastic deformation can be given to the sample significant change in workpiece shape lower forces are required materials with premature failure can be hot form absence of strengthening due to work hardening advantages are such that as explained above disadvantages shorter tool life poor surface finish lower dimensional accuracy sample surface oxidation bulk forming process we will see now bulk forming processes forging it is a deformation process in which the work piece is compressed between two dies using either impact load or hydraulic load a gradual load to deform it it is used to make a variety of high strength components for automotive aerospace and other applications the components include engine crankshafts connecting rods gears aircraft structural components jet engine turbine parts etc category based on temperature cold warm hot war forging category based on process impact load is equal to or greater than forging hammer gradual pressure is equal to or greater than forging press pressure category based on type of forging forming open die forming op open die forging impression die forging flashless forging 
the figure shows the open die forging upper die is given work piece is between upper die and lower die stationary which are stationary in open die forging the work piece is compressed between two flat flattens or dies thus allowing the metal to flow without any restriction in the sideward direction relative to the die surfaces now we will see the diagram of impression die forging upper die lower die in between upper die and lower die there is a workpiece workpiece the force is given f and with velocity v the flashless forging in which the punch is given workpiece is given the die is stationary the punch is moved with force f at v and velocity v the in impression or die forging the die surfaces contain a shape of the shape that is given to the work piece during compression thus restricting the metal flow significantly there is some extra deformed material outside the die impression which is called as flash this will be trimmed off later this is the trim drop trim off later in flashless forging the work piece is fully restricted within the die and no flash is produced the amount of initial work piece used must be controlled accurately so that it matches the volume of the die cavity in this chapter we will we have seen the impression die forging and flashless forging are explained as above thank you friends we will see the open die forging in the next session thank you